and and I push back on the points where I disagree. And I think the major point of disagreement is when determinism, i.e. what they call sovereignty most often, is read into the scriptures in such a way as to say, God is calling you to humble yourself, but ultimately God is responsible as to whether you will humble yourself. And if you don't humble yourself, it's because God didn't want you to really humble yourself when he said to. Uh, he, he calls you to faith and repentance, but you can't really have faith and repent, not unless he gives you a miracle to cause you to have faith and to repent. And you are born in that condition and you will punish, be punished for eternity for something you have absolutely no control over. Um, you might as well have been punished for the color of your skin or your eye color or something of that nature because you have no more control over the content of your character than you do the color of your skin or any other uh, physical attribute that you were born with because ultimately that is in accordance with the way God made you. And if God made you a reprobate destined for destruction, that's who you are and you're going to be held accountable for that. And if that doesn't seem right to you, then who are you to question God? Oh man. And I quote Romans nine out of its context. And you say, well, what do you mean? That's Romans nine out of its context. What, how, how's that possible? Again, which hermeneutic is logically coherent and consistent with the rest of scripture or just with, with rationality. So you just heard it from Layton's mouth. Layton just admitted to refusing to submit to the word of God. He just openly disagreed with Romans 3, Romans 8, and Romans 9. The phrase he used was, I push back on what I disagree with. And that's regarding the sovereignty of God and his soteriology, because this has everything to do with God's doctrine of salvation, not yours. And also the moral depravity of mankind. Layton Flowers is not just a false teacher. He's simply just flat out wrong on everything. And it's because he's lost. Just simply put, he's lost. Okay, His reprobate mind has been darkened. Romans 121. For although they knew God, they did not honor him as God or give thanks to him. But they became futile in their thinking and their foolish hearts were darkened. My message to Layton Flowers is this. God does not need you to save him. Let me say that again. God does not need you to save him. Who do you think you are? I mean, who do you think you are? Seriously. I mean, really, you're going to impose on God what he should do with his creation. So now the clay is gonna tell the potter what's really right and wrong. That's what's happening here? Is that what it is? My God, my God, the God of the Bible, will do what he pleases with whom he pleases. If you weren't such a fool, you'd be praising the Lord that he chose to save any of us instead of casting all of us into hell because that's where we truly belong. We are all lawbreakers. But by grace, but grace, let me say that again. Grace, you fool, repent. Because as it stands now, you are lost. And if you die as you are now, you are going to hell. You are not a Christian. And I say this with love. Repent before it's too late. You are in my prayers, late.